okay welcome back guys so we have a question from chapter 6 and this question we need to determine the force p required to hold the 50 kilogram mass in equilibrium so let's start with the free body diagram and before that we have three different uh, cables in this question i'm going to show the first one in blue so we have the first pulley in here that goes around this pulley and it has one single cord that goes through pulley A and we have the second pulley or pulley B that has the green cord that goes around the pulley at the bottom and there is one more pulley which is the pulley C and we have the same thing we have this cable going around and we'll have this so uh, we can go and start uh, drawing the free body diagram for each of these pulleys. Let's start with the pulley A. Uh, so we're going to start with the free body diagram. And we're going to start with the free body diagram of pulley A. And if you look at this, we'll see that we have the force P on the left side. And since it's a one single cord, we'll have the same tension in the cable which we know from the question is p so we have one that connects to the center of the pulley and we have uh the one that goes around the a and obviously we on the top we have uh the other cable which let's call the force in it r and that would be the free body diagram for uh pulley a so we are in equilibrium <coughs> We are in equilibrium. I want to do the some wall forces in y direction. And let's consider our x and y in this direction. Obviously, there is no force in x direction, so everything is in y. So this will be our positive. And if we do this, we'll have r minus uh, 3 times p equals 0. And this would give us our r equals to 3p. That was the free body diagram for the first pulley. Let's move on to the pulley B. So we have the same thing. So we have B and we have the force R that goes around that and one in the middle and one on the right side. And at the top, it connects to the other cable, which we call the tension in that one. So if you do the same thing, we'll do the sum of all forces in y direction this time we'll have t minus 3r equals 0 which means t equals 3r and we already know r is 3p so we have 3 times 3p which means and there is one more left one more pulley left uh, so now that we have this we know what's the tension in r and what's the tension in t and we found all of them based on P. So we can move on to the free body diagram of the 50 kilogram mass. And if we do that, so we have this, which we know has a weight of 50 kilogram. And obviously we have the mass, if you want to find it in Newton, we have to multiply that by the acceleration of gravity or g which we know is 9.81 meter per square second now what we have is we have uh, those three pulleys so on the left side we have the blue one which is connected to uh two force p we have the middle or the green cord which we know is two r and on the right right hand side we have 2t and all we need to do in here is just do our equilibrium equation for y again so we have 2p plus 2r plus 2t uh, minus the mass which is 50 times 9.81 equals zero and we know each of these forces r and t uh, based on p so we have 2p plus 2r which we know from the previous part r equals to 
three P plus we have two T, which again we know T equals to nine P and this will be equal to 50 times 9.81 and if we calculate this we have 6p 18p 6p here and 2p uh, which means we have 26p equals to 50 times 9.81 and if we calculate this we'll get p equals to 18 0.9 Newton and that would be the final answer so so that the main part of this question is figuring out that we have three different cables that they have three different tensions and we know that in each sing single cable we have the same tension uh, everywhere of that specific cable and once we figure out uh, that uh, we only have forces in y direction and we're good to go to find the force p at the end and that would be the answer for this question please make sure to subscribe to the channel and share this content with your friend and you guys have a good one i'll see you in the next one